So what we're going to do now is we're going to take you through uh, a little observation exercise. I want you to watch the two of us as we engage in a, uh, an interview. Uh, I'm going to first lead a cultural interview, and uh, my buddy Sparks here is going to be uh, interviewing for a position as an Android engineer. And then we'll flip the uh, roles, and I'll actually interview uh, for a coding interview. Um, but first, let's start with the cultural interview. Uh, so just watch and observe, and, and we'll talk about uh, what happened uh, after the interview. All right. Uh, welcome. Uh, hi. My name is Adam. Nice to meet you, Adam. I'm also Adam. Oh, Go, hey, figure. Yeah. Go figure. Go <laughs> figure. Uh, so um, just thanks for meeting with us. Thanks for coming in today. Uh, I'm curious uh, to know, you know, what, what brings you to, uh, to this interview? What brings you to, to looking for a job here? Uh, well, you know, uh, I, I, I really wanted to get more involved with what your company specifically has to offer. Um, you know, I've been kind of cutting my teeth at my last job, and, uh, you know, I, I, I like it a lot, but um, I'm just a lot more excited about what you guys are doing, and uh, I, I really want to get in before you guys get, get bigger. Okay. So notice that he projected a lot of enthusiasm and interest in our organization. That's very good. Um, if you can add specifics to that, that's even better. Now, this is a mock interview, so there's not really any specifics we have for this, this uh, uh, company, but always do a little research before you actually dive into an interview uh, with a specific company so you know what, what they're up to. Also remember, never say anything bad about your last company. If you really want to move on and are a positive person, you're not going to be full of blame. So don't blame anything you're unhappy about with your current or previous job. Kind of just skirt past that issue highlight the things that you do like about it, and be very positive about what the next company has to offer. Yeah, you don't want to leave any room for a question like this. So it sounds like maybe there was some friction in your last job. What, what yeah, happened? Yeah, those guys are jerks, man. Like, they don't <laughs> even know how to code. I, it's just like, you know, like, sometimes I just don't want to show up to work, you know? Yeah, that's, that's what not to do. <laughs> uh, instead, if you do get that kind of question, so, you know, what happened uh, at your last job? Why didn't it work out? Oh, you know, uh, it just just wasn't quite the right fit. Um, you know, we uh, we did some good work together, but um, it just wasn't uh, culturally where I wanted to be. Um, so I'm just looking for something that's uh, more appropriate for me. So you could try something like that, but here's something even better. I'm going to ask you the same question again, and can you uh, <clears throat> tell me about how much it is that you want to continue expanding your skills? Mm -hmm. That's a good one. So. Uh, watch him as he tries, tries again. Uh, so, it, you know, it sounds like maybe the last job didn't work out so well for you. Why are you leaving that one? Oh, uh, well, you know, I, my position there was mainly as a QA engineer, and, uh, you know, I'm really excited about um, not just taking a look at what's being developed and, and, and making sure it's good. I actually want to be there for, for making the, the thing in the very beginning. Um, and my skills, I think, are at the point now where I can move on to that next level position. Excellent. What you want to be able to project is that you want to keep learning, you want to keep growing your skill set, and that you think you can do that at this company in this position. Um, and it kind of puts me on my toes now because I'm probably serving as a project manager or a team lead or something like that, and I'm, I'm looking for a cultural fit. And if I don't have something that it, where I'm like ready to train or ready to be part of uh, this person's who is interviewing learning experience, then I'm now on my toes. I've got to, I've got to like, whoa, okay, well, you know, yeah, I've, I've got to justify that we can actually. Uh, be a good fit for someone who wants to wants to grow. Um, so we're going to do one more question here, and then we'll flip the roles. Uh, all right. So uh, that's great. That's great. Um, here's here's something that's really important here. Uh, I, I need to know if you can handle uh, intense uh, deadlines because uh, sometimes you know we don't know, we don't like to overwork our engineers, but sometimes we have to kind of you know put our nose to the grindstone and really work hard. Uh, I mean, I, I think so, but what, give me some more uh, uh, meaning behind that. What do you mean by intense deadlines? I mean, are you talking about just doing things on time, or are you talking about, you know, 120-hour weeks? What, what, do, what do you actually mean by that? Notice what he just did there. Absolutely fantastic. I asked him a question. I was kind of vague about it. I said, can you handle intense deadlines? That doesn't mean anything. There's no specificity to that. I could just say yes. I mean, that's what he wants to hear. But that's going to make me sign up for something that I don't really know about. And I'm going to lose respect if someone is just getting a yes man answer. You always want to be saying yes, but you want to do it with a critical kind of component to it. Absolutely. Uh, 
So now I have to respond to that, and I could say anything from, well, yes, actually, you know, no, we never do more like more than sixty hours a week. But you know, sometimes we have clients where there's. Oh you know, yeah, no, I'm, I've I've done I'm, that before. That's that's absolutely fine. Yeah, my last job, we were working, uh, you know, a similar kind of deadline, and you know, I really like the rush of it. Awesome, awesome. Just cut, print, copy. Uh, so what happened there was he put me on my toes. I had to defend, you know, that we're not, you know, slave drivers here. But, uh, but by doing so, he then got to be in rapport with me and actually got to be kind of connecting. Oh, yeah, I absolutely love that. And I love the rush of it. So it, it gave, gives me the opportunity to say, yeah, okay, that's what I want. That's, I want that kind of guy on my team. Um, so that's pretty much it uh, for the cultural interview. Is there anything else that you would want to add? Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious, like, uh, I mean, how long have you been working here, and, and what, is, what is it like to work here? Uh, well, I've been working here for, um, you know, uh, about six months, and, uh, you know, we, we do end up uh, having a lot of turnover. There's a lot of new people that come on. Uh, I had to come in, to, and now I'm starting to kind of say things that I didn't even, wasn't even prepared to say. But notice, because he asked me about my position and why I'm actually working with the company or why I'm here, uh, now he's starting to get some information that maybe I didn't even intend. Uh, so that's a really great question. Um, another great question uh, you'll probably want to ask is, uh, you know, something like, how long did it take for you to get acclimated? If I say I'm, I've been here for six months, the follow-up for that for him would be, oh, okay, so, you know, do you feel like you have a really good sense of it? In the first six months, are we going to be able to, to, you know, am I going to be able to, to get uh, acclimated to the environment? How's the team to work with? Or, uh, more specifically, Watch this. <clears throat> yeah, so that's, you know, I've been here for six months, and uh, it's been pretty good. So uh, why do you like working here? Mm, now I really have to, have to figure out what to say to justify that very good question and to, you know, to kind of recruit him. So by, by putting that question on the interviewer, uh, and not doing it necessarily aggressively or targeting the interviewer, but you know, just saying like, yeah, what is it that you like about this place? Now I have to say, oh, okay, this is what's great about, about it. Uh, and if that goes well, you could even follow up with, what don't you like about working here? What would you like to see improve? Can I help you with that? All of these are great ways to kind of inspire trust and rapport with your interviewer, especially during the cultural interview when you're not going to be asked too many technical questions. You're going to be asked more about what's the fit here? Is it a good fit? Are you going to be a good member of the team? Honestly, what people are really looking forward to in, in this process, I think, is are they going to like working with you? I mean, these are not jobs where it's like, hey, can you do some work for two hours where someone can just ignore you, right? These are, these are tight teams that work together on difficult problems oftentimes and have to trust each other. And at this point in the interview, they're looking to say, can I get along with this person? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I feel like I can. Um, so I think I give you frogs up. Awesome. I love these guys. Oh, yours is upside down now. Does that mean I, I don't get the job? Yep, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. It was nice knowing you. Yep. Yeah.